Yo, before we get in this video, I might start doing this in all of my animations, mixing in RL with the animation. So if you enjoy this, just leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and let's get into the video. So what's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Red, and I'm back with another video. And y'all already know about the title that this story is about the relationship that changed my life. And to be honest, I didn't want to talk about it because it's a little embarrassing and some of y'all might not think it's a big deal. But at that time, I really cared about it. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to post notifications. So let me take y'all way back. Back to a time when everything was just simple. Wake up, go to school, go home, and watch TV. No crazy assignments, no research papers, not worrying about studying, nothing but straight chilling. So this story takes place back in elementary school. I don't remember what grade I was in, but let's just say it was a time when kick was very popular. So I had this crush on this girl in my class. Her name, we just gonna call her Jay. But I ain't gonna cap. Jay was a little bad, little dark skin. But back then, I was way quieter than I am now. And I was too shy to talk to her. So I told my homeboys about my crush. That was a big mistake. You'll see why. So one day, one of my homeboys gonna tell the whole class that I had a crush on. And she just looked at me with the most ugliest, stank face I ever seen before. And that hurt my little hood. So I just fell back. I didn't even talk about it no more. So some time passed by and it's the last day of school. I pretty much got over the rejection and I was cooling for real. The three o'clock bell rang and everybody was walking to their bus and I would just get on my bus and I saw a girl for the last time cause I thought I wasn't gonna see her no more. So about a couple of days and summer break and I was just chilling on my tablet and then out of nowhere, I got a text from Jay. Now in my head, I'm like, hold up. What she got going on like she just encouraged me a while ago. But I didn't care for real and I responded instantly. I know I looked thirsty, but at the time I didn't care. Regardless, I still liked them. But after I sent her the text, I'm thinking to myself, she was just trying to show out in front of everybody. She couldn't resist the drip. But fast forward a couple of days and we were talking, we were vibing and stuff. And we ended up making the official. She was my girl. She gave me them digits and shit. I gave her the digits to my mama phone. What you thought they were? I ain't had no phone. But I got one later on, but it wasn't nothing special, bro. It wasn't nothing but a doggone track phone. Safe link, 500 minutes a month, that phone. But what she didn't know, didn't hurt her, you feel me? But like all good things, it must come to an end. So it all started one day, and I was out with my mama, and I had texted Jay. I don't remember what I said, but all I know, she didn't reply for a minute. So that's when I started to worry. So that's when I decided just to send another text and another and another one and another one. Time passed by. We made it back home and still no text. It went from a day. A day turned into days. Days turned into weeks. And then a month passed by. And I just had to deal with the fact she dubbed me. And real talk still to this day. I don't know why. So basically, that you saw in the last clip, she ghosted me, but I guess that kind of started the trust issues that I have now. I mean, I ain't really been trying to talk to nobody seriously no more. Ever since like 10th grade, I just laid out all that. I've been throwing my shot here and there, but nothing serious, you know, just for the fun of it, you know, because it is what it is. But if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more.